back here. So I thought I'd uh, show you guys my father's uh, workshop here. And an upgrade I did for dad, uh, geez dad, what would it have been? Eight years ago, maybe? Oh, Ten years ago? I so. so dad has this one way 2436. It's a nice heavy laid. And it comes with this BFD in this box down here. And uh, I've had a lot of requests from uh, people that have looked at my uh, VFD uh, upgrade on the table saw uh, to maybe talk a little bit more about uh, uh, VFDs. So uh, what I did with this upgrade is uh, because dad already had a two horsepower VFD here, um, I, I used this same VFD and I cut the cable and I put a twist lock plug on the end of that cable. And I did the same thing with this guy. An inexpensive um, Craftex um, bandsaw. It's a 14 inch bandsaw. And Dad has the, the riser block here. And by taking the VFD, from the one way and just all you need to do is make sure that the motor that you're putting on your your band saw or a table saw or a drill press has to be the same horsepower and same current as the motor from your your, your principal uh, tool so in this case the lathe had a two horsepower motor 1800 rpm so I put the same motor or very close to the same motor on the, the bandsaw. Very simple. All he did, all we did is we cut the cable coming off the motor and I put a new motor on the bandsaw. The motor's down here. So I basically just upgraded this motor, run a cable down. You see the cable just down here and from the start stop here because the, the bandsaw is next to him, he can start and stop either the bandsaw or the lathe. So only one tool at a time. It's not as fancy as, as the setup I had on my table saw where I could automatically switch and add dedicated start stop buttons. But you know, I can run this motor, stop that motor, and run this motor. My table saw motor running at 60 hertz and it doesn't have a fan. so. Uh, the other motor is a typical motor with a fan and it's going to run it also at 60 hertz. So you can see the difference in the sound with this one. And of course I can change the speed on this one. And I can even use the potentiometer. This is a very inexpensive upgrade. All it costs you is basically a new motor. So here now he's running the lathe and I'll show you guys in the back here. So when dad's ready to switch from this being the lathe to the bandsaw, he just comes back here, unplugs the lathe, then he plugs in the bandsaw, line these up. Make sure your BFD is off. Then you can just go over here, hit the start, and there goes the bandsaw. Then you can stop the bandsaw. Start it up again. Play with the speed. Really slow if you want, faster. So there you have it. Quick, easy upgrade. Anybody who, you, any of you guys who have a lathe and you want to get a variable speed bandsaw, quickest way to do it, get yourself a three-phase motor, 230 volts, and uh, 
You just got to make sure you uh, have a three phase 230 volt output on your VFD. Some of the VFDs are actually DC motors, so you got to just check those things a little bit. Uh, and uh, just check your nameplate on your motor, on your lathe and find yourself a very a motor that's very close to that for uh, let's say your van saw or your table saw and uh, as long as your start stop is you know close to your your tool uh, both tools you can easily you gotta be safe right but if like my father's is just to the left of his hand so uh, yeah it works great uh, costs about $250 to do an upgrade like this so um, but it's well worth it. Um, that little Craft X uh, bandsaw was originally, I think, it's three quarters of a horsepower. Now it's a two horsepower saw, and uh, I did some tests on it. We ripped what ten? It was over ten inch maple, oh, yeah. and we had no problems cutting through it. So, all right, boys. It's a uh, it's good upgrade, so there you go. Uh, Merry Christmas. My little gift to you guys is uh, this little upgrade tip. I'll do that again, just in case you thought that was cool. Because I didn't 